So there um, she is. Hey there. Hi. Guess what? You caught me on Clubhouse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on Clubhouse right now on a panel that's called My Child is a Star, but I live far. What do I do? So I was just getting some parents out um uh, to you know get into this business so i'm always doing something so i'm gonna log off of this but yeah you caught me in the middle <laughs> i was like oh my god my wow. god <laughs> well we <laughs> certainly appreciate you giving us your time that is that's awesome <laughs> thank you so much for being here with us tonight thank you for having me thank you for having me when jerry reached out i said absolutely i would love to talk about everything i have going on so you are so beautiful too oh this is thank you you are beautiful we we at black cinema now we love you so much we were so excited when we got this interview me uh, jamar <laughs> we, hey there. the founder we were like yes miss braley evans we just love your personality we think you are oh. such a star so Again, thank you for being with us. Absolutely. My pleasure. My pleasure. So before we get into it, how are you? How is your day going? My day is fantastic. It has been a day of, um, I I'm really trying to figure, oh, cause, you know, I'm new to Clubhouse. I'm trying to get off of there. Um, it has been a busy day. I've been on Zooms all day. So I've been in this chair uh, every hour on the hour. Um, I'm doing virtual book signings for my new book. And so people are um, booking their signings. And so that's been going on. I'm uh, in the process of uh, perfecting some treatments for shows that I'd love to, to pitch and get on television for you guys to see. And, and I'm not even necessarily in them. Um, just busy. Busy. That's a blessing. Yeah. So just <laughs> keep busy. I'm like, pandemic what? Pandemic who? Okay. Not here. Not here. <laughs> Not here. I love no, it. I love it. So speaking of being booked and busy and that just being such a blessing in and of itself, what is your secret to staying so positive, especially while you're working in the entertainment industry? There's a pandemic going on. What keeps you so motivated and so positive? You know, it's probably my management team, my um agents. I'm managed by a guy named JC. I think a lot of people know him. Um, he's really popular. Most people kind of know him. But yeah, Jesus Christ <laughs> is the best that. agent a girl could have. You hear me? Yes. Tell me. Uh, if it wasn't for my faith in God and realizing that it's already been laid out and all I have to do is walk the path you know, one thing after another, one show after another, one audition after another, one idea after another. Um, I just keep getting blessed at every turn. And now I'm looking forward to reaching back and helping some other people uh, do what I've done and even greater. Wow. Thank you yeah, so much for sharing. That is beautiful. JC, all day. Wow. So when you see JC, you'll be like, she's talking about Jesus Christ. Because sometimes I just say JC and leave it right there. I love that. I'm, I'm going to have to steal that. I'm oh, you can you yes, give me my publisher. That's all I want. That's just a little okay, public. I got you. I got you. <laughs> now, you appear in All Blacks. Uh, it was formerly known as UMC, um, but you appear in All Blacks Terror Lake Drive. You're in the family business over on BET, and for the love of Jason, talk about books and busy. So, oh, by the way, that's that. That series has already been renewed. Like, come on, that is amazing. Yes, it is. Now, can you tell us a little bit? I know that's a lot going on there, but could you take a little time and tell us about some of the roles that you play in each of those series? Okay, so I'll start at the, the first one. Uh, COVID hit, and we were the first production to go up in Atlanta, which was Terra Lake Drive. So I know they were like, you know, that was a big feat to step into a pandemic and have hundreds of people on a set working. Um, but they made sure we were safe. We um, were like the first to do the rapid tests and, you know, get tested for COVID every two days and stay quarantined during the whole time. Um, it was, it was a, a real, we had to take care of each other. We had to commit to taking care of each other. So to my producers, Samad Davis and Jerry 
and to uh, Diane, just everybody who was a part of that um, production. I about, I take my hat off to them because they had a big feat and we were able to get it done and get it done well. I don't know if you guys have watched it yet, but baby, uh, Tara Lake Drive was really, really good. Yes. And it's yes. fun to play Auntie JoJo. I am such an auntie. Like all my nieces and nephews <laughs> know that they can call Auntie Braley because in yes. real life, like I, I, t I just got done telling some actors on Clubhouse that um, bring your life to your character. Yes, yeah. you know, listen to where the character has been and where they're going, but also your experiences help to inform even how that person sees the sees life. Right. Um, because I think it's really special that all of us have had these wonderful life experiences, which cause you to, um, you know, see the world differently. Mm -hmm. So I encourage actors to use who they are to, yeah. to, to bring it to characters. And that has served me well. Um, like I said, with playing the auntie Jojo on that show, yeah. uh, who was down for the cause for anything. And y'all yeah. know it. You saw it. Yeah. Um, and then uh, moving on to uh, right after that was my first time flying in the pandemic was uh, coming to California to shoot for the love of Jason. I was so proud of Trell getting his deal with UMC now all black and um, for just, it's just an amazing when you start off before any of us had a acting gig, we were all friends sitting, having Sunday dinner together, hanging out, talking about our dreams. And when one of us had the opportunity to hire another trail, made sure to come back and get all of us. And say, and then we would have already equally been doing great things in our careers. Tabitha Brown is a part of the cast. Um, Keisha Thompson's a part of the cast. Like these are people who I used to have Sunday dinner with, you know. And um, you know, me and Kareem graduated college together. Um, uh, I was on uh, Being Mary Jane. It's just like every everybody was such a family already. Layla, all of us were, were just close, you know. So it was really easy to jump into a character as Trail's sister because in real life, that is my brother. You know what I mean? And we were and people like they love our chemistry. I'm like, because God set it up where we was gonna flow. And now we've been picked up for another season of that. And I'm so excited to shoot. We're like, oh, everybody's scheduled because everybody's working, but we're going to get it together. Yes. <laughs> um, a blessed place to be. And then coming up in the rear. So I got a phone call. You're in L.A. because I've been in Atlanta for so long. Yes. Oh, oh <laughs> we're shooting family business. We, your part, You can do your parts now. So because I was here, I was able to start shooting the second half of season two of uh family business and now we got picked up for season three so now <laughs> like this thing just don't stop it just keeps going and i just encourage people to put your best foot forward and really kick fear in the behind like really kick fear and like attack you know and and really get out there and do whatever it is that you have been dreaming to do because we're all just waiting on you and there's plenty of room plenty of room yes Come on, girl. Drop those gems. I love Come it. On. Thank you guys for the hearts. I see my brother in here, Dr. M.A. Lee. I see some people in here. Hey, y'all. Hey, Thank you for supporting. I love you. I love you. Thank y'all so much. Now, let me tell you, we were so sad to find out that Ambitions isn't coming back for another season. I know. I mean, ugh. That's why I'm about to start a network. I got to start a network. So I'm going to have to start a network and put, I mean, <sighs> Ambitions was a totally classy, amazing, well-written, uh, uh, perfectly cast. Uh, the, the crew was a well-oiled machine. Yes. I mean, Will Packer on the ones and twos, over uh, at the helm. Uh, what else did one ask for? I don't get it. And, I don't know what God is doing, but he's doing something. And I still have a little flicker of a candle in my soul to believe that second season is going to pick up on another network out of nowhere. I don't know why I happen to have this ridiculous faith that says you all didn't do all that good work that people absolutely loved for it just to not return ever. I don't, that's not how my belief system is set up. So y'all, I mean, throw up a prayer. 
I just actually posted about it. Oh, we did get picked up on Stars International. So now we're in the UK. Yeah. So I just said, come on, God, where my my husband in the UK? They gonna let <laughs> people get to see me all overseas and all. So we are, we did get picked up for that. So things are happening with it. Mm -hmm. So it's still alive and, and very well. Right. Um, I'm just believing that it may be on again. It, I don't know. I know we're coming back. So hear yes. me now that I have spoken into existence. Okay. This is not your motivational speaker, Braley Evans. This is your manifestation speaker, Braley Evans. Come on, somebody. And this is coming back. Come on, somebody. You better I'm play it. it. And if, if that means God has to let me hit the lottery to start my own network called uh, the B Network, <laughs> I love, I love that's it. what it's going to be. That's what it's going to be. Come on. I received that for you, girl. JC, do your thing, JC. <laughs> Come on. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, I he's in control of it all. Like, that's, what the, so, that's why faith is so important. Because it just carries you from glory to glory, like from project to project. You're, you just, like, a lot of times I tell people, I don't know what my next project is when I, you know, they yell, okay, it's a wrap. I'm like, okay, Lord, you know, but I, there's a confidence that has grown up in me to just know that there's something else. So when people say, what are you working on now? I say, oh, I'm in between shows. Right. There it is. That speaks to what I just left and also speaks into existence what is to come. Oh, wow. Oh, girl, we are so blessed. You're just dropping the gems. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now, we learned that you are very interested in not only being in front of the camera, but behind the camera as well. Now, have you started making any strides towards directing, producing, anything of that nature? Absolutely. One, my friend uh, and brother, uh, Dr. MLE is on here. He's one of my producing partners. Um, we're out here, like I said, pitching and getting our show seen by the powers that be right. and just creating. So I have over 15 shows now um, oh. written and ready to rock and roll in the, the uh, series um, regular drama you know, in, in the drama area, uh, comedies, sitcoms, in that area, and also in the reality genre. And for me, the reality genres that I'll put out will always be that feel-good type of real reality genre. Um, you guys know, uh, every I, I cannot watch an episode of Undercover Boss and not cry. Oh, my God. So I love those shows. Undercover Boss is, like, amazing. So I write uh, and create shows in that vein. And I'm really looking forward to somebody giving me that green light or, you know, just really seeing where I'm at. Or again, JC, you can go ahead and drop the dollar and I can go and put it out anyway on my own. So, um, yeah. Oh, gosh, I'm looking forward to it. Big, big things. I, I see it all. Thank over you. Head. Come on. We receive it. I'm just I'm like out here on manifestation lane. OK. Okay, let me pull up. Let me pull up. Pull up, girl. Pull up, sis. I love it. Now, I love you too. Hey, y'all. Let's show you so much love. Oh, I love it. Now, you had the amazing opportunity. Let's talk about this for a second to work <laughs> alongside the late, great, beautiful Whitney Houston um, in the film Sparkle. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that whole experience. <laughs> Um, if I could sum a, you know, the experience, I just can't find one word, you know, to describe what it is like being in the presence of someone who radiates love, positivity, yeah. her energy was electric. You know, that's all I can say. When she first came to set, I happened to be in the chair um, in hair and makeup, and she was coming into the trailer to get her hair and makeup done. And I was looking in the mirror at her, and Lord, I pray that she did not see my face. I was just like, and she's like, Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Like, she just had this energy. I mean, it's like five o'clock in the morning. She was high up energy yeah. came in turning on the gospel music and every single day that's how she set the tone for the day wow. it was like i don't care whatever y'all was playing because we about to put on this good fred hammond okay. <laughs> this morning she loved the lord and was just 
just an auntie. And I asked her, can I call you Auntie Whitney? <laughs> yes, Braylee, you, you are my niece. When we get back to LA, you got to come by the house. I was like, oh my goodness. I couldn't believe my life. Like, I was like, really, Lord, you really chose me for this. Um, yeah, she, she would like pick days where she would be like, Braylee, ooh, oh, hey, sing, sing this note right here. Ooh. And she'd be doing it, and I'd be like, <clears throat> Ooh, she's like, sing the note for her. Cause she would be hearing something and she need to get it off. And she want to harmonize. I was like, I'm singing with Whitney Houston. Like, and that's, that's when the dance teach me how to Dougie was out. And she was like, come on, y'all. Come, come on, come on, Jordan. Teach me how to Dougie. Teach me how to Dougie. Like, it was just so fun. It was electric. That's the word. It was electric. Electric. Wow. Yeah. I almost have goosebumps listening to you talk about that experience because I, I just, it feels so raw, so real. You know what I mean? She just, it was like everybody's auntie. That's what I loved about her. She was larger than life, but she still felt like she was so tangible. So yes, like, that's all right. Yeah. Now let's switch gears a little bit and talk about your book for a little bit. The ABCs of I am. There it is. Show it to the people. Can I just say this thing right here, I never intended to be an author, never once. Um, but for most of you who may not know, I never intended to be an actress either. So this thing, God keeps doing this thing. Right. I'm like, I always wanted to be a singer. I'm a singer first. I was in a group, girl group. You know, I'm saying background for everybody. This was my thing. And someone introduced me to acting and I literally started acting and just kept booking jobs after that so i want to tell people that people other people may see something in you and it's the god in them calling out the god in you Ooh. so they may have yes. you may be going oh i just do this for fun oh i just bake those cookies uh i've been baking them cookies for 20 years well honey your millions is in them cookies and people are trying to tell you and get you on your path of where you need to be going so i employ everyone who is on this live and who will look at it later to listen to what people are comment complimenting you at, because they're trying to guide you into a space that you're going to be received very well. So with that being said, I was doing what you're doing here. I was on lives and um, God said, do your IMs. And I was thinking, well, I do the IMs in private because that's just me and you. And I'm like getting myself together. He said, yeah, go live and do it. And I was like, that's weird. But OK, I follow every hunch. So I got on and I was saying, OK, guys, this is what I do in the mornings. So I'm going to invite you in and this is what we're going to do. Everybody repeat after me. I am beautiful. I am amazing. I am abundant. I am a multimillionaire. I am a wife. I am a mother. I am a sought after actress. I am a series regular. And I was just doing this thing. Mm -hmm. So I started to do it day after day. And then people would say, We're, we want to read them. And I said, no, just repeat after me. And they were like, no, we want to read it somewhere so we can do it, not just when you come on. And I was like, uh, okay. So I created, so some, one of my uh, friends, fans, followers, I love them all. So I don't know what to call you guys. I got an email from someone I did not know that went to my lives and typed up all the I am's I had said. Wow. And she was like, there you go. There's your book. I was like, okay, this is crazy. So I created an ebook. So I created this ebook and I put it out and I did an audio book to go with it, just, you know, being all savvy. Yeah. And people were still like, the ebook is cute, but we want to hold something. So then God brought a guy named AJ Joyner into my life who said, let's take that ebook and make it into a real book. So I was like, well, you know, it's, just an, like the, and I kept hearing the ABCs of I am. And I was like, it's only 26 letters in the alphabet, Lord. That, that's not a book. And then I finally said, you know what? I give it to it. I got a notebook and a pen and said, okay, God, write the book. I'll wait. Okay. <laughs> and he literally started giving me words like five A words, five B words. So I have five words for every letter of the alphabet. And then I heard, now go back and put the scripture that correlates to the word. Yeah. So in this book, you're going to get five words to each I am, to each letter. And then you'll have a scripture reference on the other side. Now the book is set up 
very intentionally that there are lines underneath the I am where you can create more F words if you want it or write your testimony. I encourage people, write, when something good happens to you, write it down because there are going to be some dark days that you need to go back and say, oh, yeah, if he did it before, then he going to do it again. Come on. Okay. So that's where you write that down right here. And then on some of these, like, see how this one, the scripture, right under the scripture, there's blank space. I want you to doodle right here. Just create, just create whatever comes to mind. Just create on this side. So it's just, it's, it's, a, it's like a book that you, you just pick up, pick it up daily, you know? And, and the cool part, the best part about my book, you don't have to read it from page one, two, three, four, five. That's so boring. I, I ask people to pray, get connected with source. Mm -hmm. and then just go like this and it'll meet you right where you are and right now it said i am a jet setter hey, wow. so i must be about to fly somewhere y'all that's how he work in my life <laughs> i'm just saying i am a jet setter being a jet setter means being able to move about place to place city to city state to state country to country mm -hmm. making the world your own and leaving each place better than you found it Hey, come on. Can I receive that too? Can I take a little bit of that for myself? Come with me. Let's go. Where are we going? Passports. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I want to do it And, the, and the, the scripture that goes with that says, by faith, we see the world called into existence by God's word. What we see created by what we don't see. Hebrews 11.3 from the message version. Mm. You guys, it's like, God used words to create the world. He made us in his image. Ooh. So why would not we use our words to create what we want to see in our lives? Oh. Come on, Brayley, you better break it down. I'm, it's, it's not even rocket science. Like, we, we're the only creation that God gave the power to speak. That's so why don't we just speak on it? Why do we keep saying, oh, sis, you killed that interview. Don't, uh-uh. I gave it life, actually. Oh, come. I'm about to shout. Can you? Come on. <laughs> what? I'm trying to contain myself. Do you understand? You, the breath in your body, in your lungs, there's breath, right? Right. So on every script that I get, scripts have words on a page. Right. I look at the words, I take the words, I take the breath in my lungs and I say the words out loud. So in fact, I took the character off the page and gave it life. I didn't kill anything. So why do we say that? Wow. Do you understand? Right. It's a trick. It's a trick of the inner me. Not everybody with the enemy. He's over there. He's the devil. He's down there. It's mm -hmm. actually the inner me. Ooh. Enemy. It's Ooh. not the enemy. It's us. It's this thing. Right. The power of life and death is in our tongue. So it is so incredibly important that we realize everything we say, even when we're playing, is boomeranging back to our life so quickly. Mm. So when you're saying, oh, girl, you killed it, you're, you're like cursing people. Mm. And, oh, I killed that. Bitch. Okay. No, the enemy comes, the enemy, enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Right. No. I but if we're made in God's image, we come to give life and life more abundantly. What do you want, sis? Come on. I don't care if it's a pair of red bottoms you want. Good. Somebody got to want that. That's why they made it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yes. What do you want? And a part, another issue that I'm noticing, I, so I get on Clubhouse every night about 9 o'clock p.m., and I just have an open space for people to come and state their I am's for the day. Because I said, what we're going to do is be grateful for where we are and what we have. And then we're going to plant the seeds of I am's for our tomorrow. So what do you want? A lot of times people are like, it, I need everyone who's listening to this to go ahead and write down what you want. Mm. A lot of times we're like, what do I want? Like, what do you really want? Right. What do you, have you really made space for in your life? You know, you say you want a husband. Do you really want that? Mm. You say you want a child. Do you really want that? Like you got to really sit with yourself and say, okay, when I say this, I am a mother. I realize what I, I'm saying. This is going to take time, energy, space, love, care, you know, selflessness mm -hmm. is going to take, and I'm willing to give up. I'm willing to give up all that for this. Okay. That's what I want. 
Right. But if we get really specific about what we want, I believe more of us would see manifestations more often. We're yeah. too busy looking at somebody else's green grass. Uh-uh. Oh. No, get get focused in the mirror. Like, oh. come on. Michael Jackson told us, I'm looking at the man in the mirror. Yes. Oh, girl, these are really preaching to us right now. I mean, goodness, I received. I guess I'm just on ten. I've had a fantastic day, and I've been able to. My calendar looks great. Who mad? Not you. (laughs) Not me. Not you. That is that is so amazing. I mean, it just really makes you realize we have to be intentional. We have to be intentional with our thoughts and with our words. With our most importantly. Yes. Most importantly, but you know, as a man think it, so is he, because what you think gets down in your heart and then you speak it out. Right. So yeah. even a uh, Creflo dollar once said this and I love him for it. He said that we can't stop birds. Bird, he said thoughts are like birds. Right. Essentially. You can't stop a bird from flying over your head, mm-hmm. but you can, for doggone sure, stop a bird from creating a nest in your hair. Cause you can just fling it away. Exactly. So when you have a thought that's not in congr- you know, not coinciding with what you want, then you can just say, Oh no, I rebuke that. And you know, exactly. say what you want. So I just, I want people to get their words, their words together. And then once they get the words together, they'll begin to see their life literally unfold. Like it will, and it'll just unfold just like a flower, you know, just give it time. It's coming. It's happening. The seed is yet t- germinated, you know, and a seed when it's, planted has to break first so you might feel like there's nothing happening and this is broken in my life this is broken in my life well a seed breaks first and then it starts to come up come on you got to be broken first it's okay look and go back to the bible if they tell us they fed jesus fed the multitude after he broke the bread then he blessed it but it was broken it wasn't a whole piece of bread he was passing out he broke it then he blessed it, and then it began to multiply. Come on. So that's what I want to see for you. That's what I want to see for myself. Yeah. And I, that's why I said, God, you let me do this acting thing because it allows people to listen. And then when they listen, they can get it for themselves. So go get the book, y'all. BrayleyEvans.com. Oh, BrayleyEvans.com. <laughs> or you can get it on Amazon. Amazon, yeah, I, I've seen the questions and the comments going crazy. Where can we get the book? Where can we get the book? Someone is over in China, and they ask, I'm in China. Can I get the book in China? You sure can. Amazon. Go to Amazon and get the book and get it fast. Oh, my God, somebody saw Note to Self. <gasps> Thank you. Oh, I had a ball in that movie. Oh, that is awesome. I, I can't wait to get my copy. That That is life-changing stuff right there. Thank you. And I feel like that was so special. I really hope that I'm not the only one who was able to take away something from this because, wow, so many gems, girl. You're, you're preaching. Seriously. I, I don't know. It's just, I, I, it's on me today. I feel it. So it must be something in the air. Like, I'm really we need on it. Team. This group, cool. whoever here watching and whoever whoever's going to watch this live later is special and it's meant just for you. Meant yes. You. And please don't forget to meet me nightly on uh, Clubhouse. I come on Clubhouse at nine o'clock every night, unless I'm on set and we're going over in time. Then I kind of jump on about eleven o'clock p.m. Um, uh, PST. PST. All right, we got mm-hmm. it. I, I'm gonna have to tune in because this. We come on no. her. We're we're getting it, and people are coming back with testimonies already. Like I've only been doing it for about two weeks. And people have been saying, since I came on, remember I said that I was going to, well, I got a deal. Somebody got a deal with uh, uh, Walmart for their product. And right. someone told them that they couldn't because their their price point was too high or something. Hmm. But Walmart have now done a deal with this young lady. Like, it, it's <laughs> like, Incredible. I'm like, you guys, there's nothing keeping us from being, having every, being, doing, and having everything that we want. Absolutely. Starts right here. That's it. It starts with you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So now you promote, and and this is something we we love about you. You promote a wonderful sense of body positivity, self-lovery. Yes. Come on, curvy girl. 
I, but you're representing like never before, like just amazing. What is one way that uh, you would encourage black women specifically to celebrate their bodies each day? I would encourage you to get okay with right where you are. Mm. And once you get okay with it, you can make a decision again. What do you want? Right. Do you want to be different? Then let's make a few changes. Right, right now, um, my church and some friends, and we're doing, you can eat, but only have water to drink. No juice, no soda, no nothing. Water. You can put a little lemon in it. I have water for the next 40 days. So that's where we, we're like, you, we've got to make some sacrifices to get what you want. But I also want you to love where you are and know that where you are is beautiful. Yeah. You want to know why? Because somebody wished they had what you have. They go into a doctor's office saying, I want to be a double D. <laughs> <laughs> they go they, they, they go in to say, hey, can you give me a little well tell on the back? Honey, I'm like, people are buying this? I got it to give away for free. So okay. I just want you to know, to, to, to love where you are. And more importantly, for those people who are actors and out front, if I wasn't curvy, there's been many times where I would say, I'm working more than my thin actress friends. Mm. So yeah, what does that say? So what is that saying? Yeah. And it just says that nothing about them is saying all about me, that right. I am okay with where I am. And so I carry myself that way. And then other people catch on. So do you, they'll catch on. They, they will they will catch on and right now the curvy girl is the thing like we are all the rave honey all the rave don't nobody want a bone let's, let's be clear <laughs> it's winter time um, now? it's cold in texas right now i know he wish i know he wish he had a thick girl to roll up against come on <laughs> i cannot i love this i love it so much. okay now my next question i'd love to know what do you feel has been the most challenging role for you, both on and off screen? The most challenging role on screen. And I know there's been a few. Yes, Lord, I had to, I'm going through them in my head. The most challenging. Mm -hmm. I want to say, actually, I'm going to say ambitions. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, Rondell. Rondell Lancaster was probably the most challenging opportunity for me. Like I said, I bring myself um, to characters, but through the lens of the character. Mm -hmm. So having to play a scene where my father dies wow. was something I did not want to do. Mm -hmm. My father is well and kicking, and I, and I don't know what it's like to lose a parent. Yeah. Um, in my real life. So I had to find a place, you know, but I did lose my grandmother. So um, us actors call it substitution. And that's what I used in the scene. But it's very difficult to say word because I'm so big on words. Mm -hmm. So it's very difficult to say because of you, dad is dead, you know. Ugh. So when I say that, it just, oh, it just really gets me. So that's difficult. Um and it really made me have even more empathy for the character, which mm -hmm. had me connect even on a deeper level. And I believe that the audience was able to feel Rondell. And that's why I get so many compliments. And so we love Rondell because she was real, yeah. but she was de definitely uh, difficult to get to because of the subject matter. Um, so that was very difficult. And then I would say the most difficult um, role in my personal life was being a wife. I was a wife, was a wife. Let me be clear because I'm single now and still ready to mingle. Let's be clear. Okay. Period. Poo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was a, being the role of a wife and um, that role, although beautiful and I'm super excited to do it again. Like I'm not shying away from love by no means. Um, but I believe that, A, I wasn't ready. Right. I thought I was, you know, because I'm like, the age was there, you know, the material things I was there, the careers there. Well, then what else is there left to do? But, you know, come on. 
Um, and I think I was so bullheaded in going to get it done like I do everything else that I didn't take the time to ask a few more questions. So important. Mm -hmm. And so when I took a lot of things at face value, um, then and I learned I, you know, you get in this thing, you go, oh, I don't know you at all, do I? Because I didn't know this or that about you. Um, so that was difficult um, trying to be the girl who believes in God and what thus said the Lord, you know, and then you're like, okay, but I done got myself in this situation. And um, this, I know this ain't what God has for me because this is not looking like him. Yeah. And so if it don't look like God, then it ain't God. And I believe he releases folks out of situations that don't look like him. So I have yet to, I have a, a book brewing on that topic and some TV show ideas on that topic. Like I think that God allowed me to have the experience so that I can be responsible with the information because I don't, are you married? I am not married, not yet. So I can't not let my sisters come behind me without this knowledge I have. So mm -hmm. that's, I take it very personal that I'm encountered by young ladies who have yet to go that road. And I know a few things that they may not have been told. So I don't want to leave this earth without making sure you're equipped at least to what I didn't know so that you can have a higher level of success than your big sister. You feel me? Oh. So that means a lot to me. And um, so God's put that on my heart to do. And I'm, yeah. So we're going to work on that. I am looking forward to that project. Well, let me tell you, that was, that's so deep. I resonated so much with, I'm not, I've never been married, but your experience, what you just described, mm -hmm. I feel like almost every woman has been there at some point in a relationship or other. And that just stepped on each and every one of my toes. So Yay. I am absolutely look, looking forward to this project. Thank you Thank so you. much for even thinking about, you know, little sis, you know, coming after you because we, we need this. We need that. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I wish there were more people talking about um, things, you know, before I did, but good, you know, God, you chose me. I'll go. Yeah. Whatever. It's all good. JC. JC, girl, JC. What you doing? <laughs> all day, all day. Now, this is one of our favorite questions. Um, I really love asking this question. Um, it's about giving each other our flowers. That's something that we're doing now before anyone is leaving this earth. We want to make sure you have your flowers here now yeah. here with us. So if you could think of anyone who you oh. give your their flowers to, who would that person be? Who would you give their flowers to and, and why? There's so many people. Do I, well, I could pick one? I know. Pick one? The first face that comes to mind. Well, I don't know why Oprah's face came to mind, but because there's so many people other than her, <laughs> but I would really like to to give her uh, her flowers, and I know many people do, yeah. but I want to give her her flowers from a standpoint of um, she's given me an example. Right. Now it's on me. There it is, and, and it's just like we all should actually be doing better more than oprah because we can she's created a platform that we now can stand on her shoulders so we can be a little taller so um but she is some one person that i would really like to say i'm so grateful that god allowed you to live in my you know view that i was able to uh watch you maneuver and succeed and do it so ladylike and gracious and yeah. you know that we can be proud there's not much there, I can't think of anything you've done that we've been ashamed of like right. I, I'm I'm really um I'm really happy and then I got the opportunity to pass your way to meet you to uh. work for you like way to do that so you know I just want to honor her with my life and uh, that what she's done and actually do better and do more. Um, I'm really believing God that I'll play her in an auto autobiography. I can um, see that. Wow. 
I just know God has it. I know he has it for me. And that's just it. Oh, you are a powerhouse. Come on. Yes, you can go. You can go. You can go. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Raven. You are so phenomenal. I mean, what a powerhouse. I mean, I, I thought we would have a good time tonight, but never did I expect to take away so much. And I can't sure. To purchase your book. Everyone, please make sure you purchase a copy. The ABCs of I Am is out now. Can you just tell us one more time? I know you mentioned it, but where we can purchase your book and where we can follow you and keep up on social media. Oh, there go my boy, Model 65. Everyone, bless yourself. The ABCs of I Am's at BrayleyEvans.com or Amazon.com. Just simply put in the ABCs of I Am's or on my site, it comes right up. And please be blessed by it. In a, in a few weeks, my marketing team is putting together some sign-in chats where you can have a personal signing event with me and we'll even give you the video where you can put it on your social media. But we have a, a, a time, just me and the person, and I'm getting the book and signing your book uh, with you. So there's going to be some opportunities to be one-on-one -on -one with me. And I'm looking forward to that. But this is a, a journey. I don't know where God is taking me, but I'm going one step at a time and I, I'm going fearlessly. So let's go. That's it. Oh, we're excited to see all that God has in store for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I'll make sure that you're following Braley on social media. Make sure that you're following Black Cinema now. And you can also follow me, your host, over at H. Wood Gems. Hey. And our next chat. We'll see you all next time. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And when my next project comes out, I'm coming right back. Oh, we can't wait. Thank you. You enjoy the rest <laughs> of the night, Queen. You too. Bye, guys. Night, everybody. Love y'all.